What's up, you guys? Your boy KG back in here with another video. This will be part three of my car hauler build. Of course, I have four. I went through the first two. Now we on truck number three. Now this one is a little different. This one, um, I didn't build the front part of it. This is actually a Jada P Peter built model right here it opens up real nice and I just got it torn my built built the entire trailer again mostly out of wood had some tires that I used from another truck for the rear tires you can, as you can see down here yeah I'm just going to do a, a slight pour like I did in the rest of the videos. You guys know that it is functional. Back it back up. No wheels. Alright. I'm going to unload it to show you guys how to get all the cars down in there like that. Starting with this one. Now this one has the most hinges out of all of the trucks I built to get access to this undercarriage. Take this little pile out. Then I got my my brackets in there to hold it. together and this rises just got my head just down in there comes up I'll take this one off this lifts up to access this car my Camaro down in there change lifts up This one is not quite finished. I put a lot more detail in this one. You know, I got gained a lot of confidence from the first two builds, so I switched it up a little bit. Put a lot more detail into this build. I added the first build and had like the, I guess you call it the hydraulic pumps or whatnot. I added some little switches right here to make shift controller control the uh, the racks or not um, got a hinge down here to lift this up also and this car is way down in there hopefully I can get this out with one hand holding the camera with one hand and um hold on guys got it out alrighty that's everything unloaded See, that's a lot more pieces in this one than the first two that I showed you guys. A lot of more pieces is glued together. It's held together really strong, though, surprisingly. 
all the switches and all the hydraulic pumps and everything. Put two ladders on this one. Some more uh, switches right here that I just added. Of course, it detaches from the, the truck. Like so. It's my Jada. Peterbilt. I like this truck. But onto the trailer. I have an awful lot of detail in this one. I mean, well, you've seen the racks, they, all the racks go up and down. This one lifts up. That one lifts up. This one lifts up. This one lifts up. And this one lifts up. Flip it over on this side so you can see. It's kind of lightweight too. What I got going on here. <clears throat> and you see I got some big popsicle sticks. I found some more other shims from the baffle door. Found me another door that was in the alley. And that's what inspired this build. Because I found some more of these skinny shims to use. And it wasn't long enough to go all the way from the front to the back. So I had to glue a popsicle stick to attach two together to make that. I attached the tires with some more popsicle sticks that I cut down and glued to this part right here. See, I look paint on the tire. But this truck is not finished being being painted. I'll flip it around so you can see the other side. I didn't paint the other side, so you can see how it looked before I painted it. Everything is there, just like the other side, but everything is there like the other side, but it's not painted like. I just skipped out on the paint on this one. And it's kind of good I did so you guys can get a idea of how it looked prior to me painting it. That was pretty nice. I really like this one, guys. This one is like my favorite out of all of them so far. Now I didn't. I'm gonna put some more on the back to to flip down, maybe to make a an off ramp that I haven't done yet. But majority of the build is done. This is just gonna need to be painted and a few little more details in it, and it'll be complete. But right now, it's just basically here to, to hold my cars. <laughs> just wanted to. put the little screw through here and I cut this screw to attach this to the this is what attached to the truck for the bill. You know to me it came out really really nice and I really enjoyed building this one this was a little different I went online I googled car hauler truck came up with an image of a of a trailer made similar to this and that's what gave me my my inspiration for the build you know I just went over went off of a photo just build it off a photo that I seen added my own little touches in there here and there. So if you guys like what you see, man, I'm trying to give you a better look. So much going on with this one. Man.
flip it back around to the painted side. Yeah, once I finish painting it, it's going to be, it's going to be something else. Truck back on now. Build number three. Guys, enjoying the content and smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this build. You know, if you want to see me build more of these? You know, let me know down in the comments. And I'll definitely be putting some time into building some more of these. Even though I'm practically out of space right now, I don't have, even though this is a space saver, I don't even have, I know where to put another truck at, so. It will be fun to build another one. So just let me guys know what you think. Hit that like button, that thumbs up, if you enjoyed the video. And share it, you know, share it with other people that might be interested in Learning how to build something like this, you know, just by looking at it, you can get a good idea of how it went together. Like I said, I really enjoy building it, guys. And I really enjoy just looking at it. Just, man, I like it. But until next time, guys, I gotta go. Hope you guys having a good day. I'm going to cover the last truck. My next video is entirely unpainted. But I got my J JDM models on there, most of them. I got Dodson. Oh, yeah. Until next time, guys. Peace.